What, what, what do you say that, because he, he just said that Christians believe there's one God. Okay, he's a Muslim to believe there's one God. Do you, do you disagree with that? Well, he disagree. He hasn't mentioned it. He hasn't made that He did. He said that both Christians and Muslims. Both Christians and Muslims believe in one, yeah. in, in one, in one God. So, uh, so my, 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 my consensus is, is that, is that why, why, why not just be, a, why not be a Christian? Or, 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 like, let's not even, let's just scrap Christianity for now. What, 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 why not just believe in one, in one God and that's it? Because it's, it's all trying to say, why did you choose Islam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it's, it's, it's also like, it's like law and order as well, yeah. according to God. Islam is saying how to worship God, law and order, how to treat people, how to live a certain way on earth. So, so, so how, how is it to, how are you supposed to, what, what is Islam teaching about how to treat unbelievers? See, I'm not going to get into that. Because, hang on, no, 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 see that. No. Why is it, why, why is it? That's not fair to you. It's not fair to you. You, you, you just made a statement that the Quran or Islam teaches you how to treat others. And I've asked you just to give us an example no, no, because of how it teaches no, no, you to treat no, no, no. unbelievers. Who, who here is a Muslim? Is anyone here a Muslim? So none of us are Muslim. So how no, no, no. Allah, how does Allah teach you that you should treat us? No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm a bit too intelligent to get into that and I'll tell you why. Because I've just had a conversation with this young lady here and another gentleman about the same thing, right? And I know you've had countless amounts of conversations about this same topic. So I'm going to mention what I got. No, 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 you asked him. You come out of nowhere. You come out of nowhere. It's actually him. You, you, you come out of nowhere. You, 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 to be fair, you did. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 of course, of course. Speak this corner, I, I can. Yes. But the point is this. is You, no, you, you on, responded to him. Hang on, no, you, you responded to him. That's fine, but... And so all I'm doing is elaborating on the point. I've come, I haven't changed the subject. We're speaking about Islam and Christianity. And the best people to, you know, to, when you, to, to conduct this argument with is with a Christian and someone who's actually a Muslim. A, a, a Muslim and actually a Christian. No, because that's not Because then you can get... Skeptic. Yeah, and because, so because you are both thinking that you have the truth, and I'm thinking I know that I don't have the truth. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, so I think, it's not like a battle just I'm between you two. Because I disagree with both yeah, of you. I'm going to premise that I when, I, when I came I, along, you were speaking I, I, I about Christianity and Islam, no. and you're saying why don't you be a Christian? Because that conversation, yeah, yeah, yeah. That conversation started from the end of this topic. Was to bring up again? We would have spoken about this. I'm just back. What, what made me a Muslim? Yeah. It's just the, the concept of there's one God, a creator. I'm not into I'm not, I'm not into all the politics and all like oh Christians do this, Muslims do this, or all the sectism and stuff like that. I'm not into all that. To me, it's, there's just one God. There's one, there's one messenger. The messenger said X, Y, and Z. God said X, Y, and Z. You follow this? It's not blind. It's not blind faith. It's evidence. You don't have to believe it. What I'm saying to you that do you just simply go blindly into faith? Do you, so, for example, if someone told you that. No, no, but you've just said that I don't have to believe something. You don't have to believe it. Right, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I'm going on that premise, right? Yeah. So the fact is, yes, right? Every single day we make certain choices, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's based on certain evidence, okay? In order for us to make certain decisions in our life, yes? Always, we can always, we can always make irrational decisions based on no, based on no Keep can, but I'm saying to you, like, as a rational individual, okay, as a person who's reasonable, you're going to make certain decisions, okay? Yeah. And so you've chosen to follow. Allah and Islam, yeah, yeah. and you based it on the fact that Muhammad is a true prophet. So who we're asking you is yeah. what makes Muhammad a true prophet? What makes him a real prophet? Um, the Quran. What he delivered, the Quran. So, so how does the Quran, explain to how does the Quran make so for, so, so, so for, for example, let's, let's mention another prophet, uh, Moses for example, what makes him a prophet? Let me speak about Muhammad because uh, you, see, you mentioned Muhammad. That's what makes you believe. So listen, deal with Muhammad now, first listen, before you move on. Let's not, go, let's not try and govern the conversation. I'm answering the way I'm answering. You have you bumped you into it. So now, as you say, it's speaker's corner. You can say and come into what you like. So can I? You, you, right? are, you are the no, 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 I'm not. So you you said, you said, no, this is what you said. You said you are Muslim because Muhammad earlier, is a prophet. So we're asking you what makes that you true. Said, earlier you said, when you asked me about Christian and Muslim, and I said, I'm not going to go into that because you're going to bump here. And he goes, hang on, you're not God. You don't know what I'm going to say. Okay, let me ask you, no, 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 no. Is it reasonable?
reasonable if he says that the reason I believe that um, Muhammad is a true prophet or he believes Islam is true is because Muhammad is a prophet and the reason because he, he believes that Muhammad is a prophet is because of the Quran. Right. Is it reasonable for me to ask him why? Right, I know, but he could just ask you, why is Jesus God? And, and exactly. you, you know what I mean? And, and it might just be circular. Both of you might be circular. But, but the thing is, I would actually respond, but he's not. I know, but I would say I'm your evidence is not legit. Wait, wait, it's based on hang faith. On, hang on. But, but then I'll disagree with you on that with different conversation. But I would ignore you. I'm not so, trying to jump so in your problem. I'm saying, I want to be you balanced. Think, yeah, you I'm saying to you, is it acceptable if you ask me a question, if I simply ignore it, then you, then obviously, if you ask me a question, then I would want to respond to your question. And I'm asking him a question. He's made a claim. I'd want him to substantiate Mate, that I'm claim. I'm answering your question. Earlier, when you're speaking to someone, you ask them, are you mental? Because they weren't talking about your narrative. I can, yeah, you asked someone earlier, are you mental? Because they were saying something that was against your narrative. I can ask the same to you. No, you're, no, no, you're, you're saying, you're not answering my question because I mentioned the name Moses. Let me finish what I was going to say. Which you're not God. You don't know how my, my, uh, my answer was going to end. You understand? I'm saying, you said, how do you know the Prophet Muhammad was a prophet? I said the Quran. How do you mean? So I'm giving you an example. How do we know Moses was a prophet? If you saw Moses walk down the street now, you think that any old man, brown, brown dude, da, 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 you think he's any old man. The only reason why people thought he was a prophet is what he brought with him. What did he bring with? Partition of the sea, for example. You understand? Or oh, God uh, worked through him with a, I wouldn't say magic, but you know, you know, with the snakes and the pharaoh and stuff. Yeah. Jesus, how do you know he's a prophet? Fine, right? Okay. Hang on, let me. I'm finished. With with Jesus, how do we know he was a prophet? If we looked at Jesus now, ordinary man, two eyes, two legs, two arms, probably facial hair, whatever, long hair, whatever. Yeah. We wouldn't think nothing of it. How do you know he's a prophet? Because what he done, there's miracles he done, right? Same. So the same applies to Prophet Muhammad with his miracle. The actual Quran itself and the linguistics of it and the information in there is miraculous. That's my answer to you. Thank you. And again, my question is the same question. Why Why do we believe that Muhammad is a prophet because of the Quran? Excuse me. Excuse me. You believe me. Okay, I'll answer the question. You believe that Muhammad is a, um, a prophet because he said, the Quran, the linguistics, the miracles, yeah. and all the things we see in the Quran. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm asking, I'm just kind of um, expanding on what want to expand on what you're actually trying to um, kind of convey to us. Yes. So what makes the Quran? What makes the Quran proof? Because you said the linguistics. Where's the linguistics that show that Muhammad is a prophet? Where's the miracles in the Quran that show that um, Muhammad is a prophet? Where all these things that you are claiming and you want us to accept for Muhammad to be a prophet? Where are these things? That's what I'm asking. First, first of all. I don't think he wants you to. I don't think he wants you to. First and foremost, I'm, yeah. not trying, I'm not trying to make you accept it. He's actually commanded to do Dawah. No, 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 no. No, but not to everyone. I'm not, I'm not going to go to any, everywhere I go so and do Dawah. Do I, I was just talking to this guy. Can you, you answer the question? What's the yeah, yeah, so you're asking me why do I think that I'm not, Prophet Muhammad was. I'm, I'm saying. What was it about the Quran that's already, miraculous? You've already affirmed. What, was, the, what yes. is it about the Quran that's miraculous? That's your question, yeah? Linguistic. Fine. First and foremost, the way that it is worded, for example, it's worded in such a way that nobody was even writing or speaking in that way. Can you elaborate? No, that's, that's, that's my answer. So, so you so, so, see how, you know how big that is. Now, let, notice this, notice what you just done. Prior to that, he spoke about Moses. And he spoke about Moses splitting the Red Sea. He spoke about all these miraculous things that Moses did in Egypt. He spoke about things that only a prophet could do. Then he falls to us, oh well, you know, it's got linguistics and he accepts and expects us to believe that this is suffice to, no, um, to show that someone on, is no, miraculous. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm not, I'm not trying to convince you. Convince. I'm not trying to convince you. No, 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 no. You asked me a question. I've answered your like question respectfully. Now, if you, you need to be satisfied what I'll give you because I'm, you're not, I'm, not, I'm not selling you anything and I'm not buying anything from you. You've asked me a question. I've answered it. I'm saying... What else do you want? I'm saying two, yes. Okay, let me just... Because we've got some atheists here who I clearly don't agree with, yes? Yeah, so we're all in disagreement, yes? Muslim, the Christian, the atheist. So I'm going to ask some atheists, yeah? Okay. Would you say if someone split the Red Sea, is that a miracle to you? If you saw someone's command the Red Sea to split, would you call that a miracle? Yeah. Right. If someone says to you, there's this book and it's got, you know, the way it was written, it's so beautiful and the linguistics are so great, would you consider that a miracle? To be fair, no. So, what I'm saying to you is, even to an atheist, or even to anybody in any, with any kind of rationale, they would say, well, this is, 
clearly a miracle. And this is, you know, um, many times. And to others, a miracle. And I'm saying to you, is, what can you, if you were to affirm that, just for you, by the way, it's not for me. I'm saying, let me finish my, let me finish my friend. I'm saying to you, okay, if you're going to make a, or if you're going to believe in something, yeah. would it not be important for you to say, well, hold on, listen. Well, it's subjective what's important, what isn't. Just because this gentleman in my ear might not think it's a miracle, I mean, I can't. Yeah, yeah, hang on, hang on. There's one point, hang on. There's 1.8 billion Muslims out there who believe what I believe. I, I, I agree with you. And there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of beliefs that believe that you should, um, I don't know, cut yourself. There's all types of people all over the world that believe the most horrendous and crazy things, okay? But I'm saying to you is that, um, is it rational to, to be able to, um, to say that these things prove um, it's that this thing, subjective. Right, it's, right it's, it's subjective, right. No, 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 so I'm you're saying, saying uh, let's go on that. Is Islam subjective? No, I didn't say that. I'm saying people's opinion of whether they want to believe it or not is subjective. Is Islam subjective? To me, no, it's objective. So I believe it's so factual 100%. Believe it's objective. Yeah. So you believe everyone should believe it's objective to you? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's, that's, the point to, that's, what, that's the point I'm trying to get. That's, no, the point I'm trying to make, he's asking me, is it miraculous? I'm saying it's subjective, if it's miraculous or not. Because to him it's not, to you it's not, but to me it is. Yeah, that's right. That makes but sense. But, and that, what else, what more can I say? So if somebody else came, this is what I'm not going, if someone else comes yeah. and writes, I don't know, Shakespeare writes something really um, beautiful, the linguistics are brilliant, then that would also be a miracle to someone else and you would accept that. As long as it's subjective, it's a miracle and if they claim this from God, for example, if I came along, I if, if I, oh, hold on, let me, let me, no, 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 let, let me finish, no, that's what I'm saying. If I came along with a book, and I said, wow, this is um, the linguistics are beautiful and you know and um and it's you know I believe it's got lots of miracles and I present you to this book and I say well hold on do you know what? you should follow this book because I received a divine revelation from God. Would you accept that from me? Would I accept it from you? No, that's me. But I'm saying somebody else might. What I'm asking to do is, is kind of give us a I want you to show me the difference between when Muhammad comes along because example, let, let, let me let me finish example, let me finish let me finish my question just, so you just, can understand let me finish my question <laughs> because what Christians believe is that obviously as you know is that Muhammad is a false prophet right and the reason why is because he comes along 700 years later or 600 years later after all the apostles and all the prophets have passed away and he comes up with this new revelation that none of the Christians in his time they, um, agreed with they dispute with him in everything he said and so I'm drawing a, a, an analogy or a parallel if somebody else comes and says well hold on we can give you this revelation okay from this book okay that I believe I've got from God what makes Muhammad's revelation true which you've accepted and what makes someone else who comes with this um, book that they've said they've got from God why do you accept one and not the other so you know you're asking the wrong questions because you're asking me about the opinion of all the people yes you're asking yes you are you're, you're saying you're, the way you're wording is like no 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 you don't you're you're saying, you're saying, you're saying, what I ask I'll say very clearly I've said if one person comes along and says I have a revelation from God yes and then another person comes along and says I have a revelation of God here's my book they both come along and they both said they have a book why choose one person other than the other why not, why not, why not choose both okay that's my point so what information would Allah, uh, Muhammad have brought that I cannot say in my sense that I'm going to bring a revelation of God and that I'm a prophet in 2018 what is the difference well, to, to get that answer you're going to have to ask me in addition to 1.8 other billion Muslims. Now you're going to other Muslims. I'm asking you. What mate? That's just because that's just what suits me. It's what suits me. So, so again, like, so, so in other words, you, why have you accepted? Yeah. So why have you accepted Islam and not yeah. Mormonism? Mormonism. Because he, he came and made the same thing. Because like, he, no, no, no. He he came has, with a, no I think he's answered your question. He, he just believed. He just it's just his subjective right, truth. So what makes it true? What makes it true? <laughs> Alright, what makes it true is the information within the Quran and how 
how it touched me, how it correlated with how I felt. When I was looking, when I was looking for religion, my sister's a Christian, and she used to tell me, new, new, uh, what's it called when you just, you know, you're newborn, whatever it's, whatever it's called, right? Born again Christian, right? She used to tell me about Christianity, you know, Jesus this and Jesus that, and she, you know, she would have like war tent, she would pray over it, and she would pull it on her walls, and you know, she would say all this stuff to me, and it wouldn't just sit well with me. No, to if we're all rational, are we going to follow something that doesn't sit well with us? We're not going to. So that's why I am a Muslim and not a Christian because what the Islam sitting well with me, what I was reading, how it made me feel at the time when I was looking for something, it sat well with me. That's that's as, that's as plus. That's as uh, I can't pull it any other way than that. Okay. So what makes Muhammad's life sit with you? What makes his, his teachings and life? Why does that correspond with you? No, no, no you it's, it's not about Muhammad's it life. It's, it's, as you've you accepted Islam, you've accepted Muhammad as, as your prophet. Yes, but it's, it's, it's not. The thing is, it's not about his life. It's about the message he had, which God gave to him. So it's about God. It's not about Muhammad. It's about, it's about God. The, the, the problem you're going to find here is because the point we're making is that anybody can come along and say, well, hold on, I've got this book. And listen, it, 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 it's... Anybody can... Let me, let, me, let me finish, brother. Let me finish. Let me finish and then you respond, yes? I've got this book, okay? Yeah. And this book... And this book, perhaps, um, it sits well with you. Perhaps yeah, yeah, yeah. it says you can have 15 wives and you like lots of women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it says you can be a multi-millionaire. Yeah, yeah. Whatever sits well with you. Because yeah, yeah. you're, 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 yeah, yeah. you're, you're basing your premise on as long as the book fits well with me, as long as it suits my narrative, my agenda, or the things that I like, or it makes sense logically, it makes sense to me, then I'm going to follow it. But the thing is, if somebody else comes with a book, would you didn't say they're a prophet? You may say they come with a good book. You may say that, oh, I like some of the things you said. But does that make them a prophet? Hang on, so let me answer that. First and foremost, I'm in my I'm in my right to be able to follow something that fits my agenda. First and foremost, no, no, right? No, that's fine. So this can't be used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Discuss, speak, 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 speak. So, yes, that's fine. Secondly, if somebody came with a book and they said they're from God and it fit the criteria I have and how it made me feel in the heart, and if my heart told me it's right, fine. So you, you so someone else, so yeah, let's, let's get this clear. Yeah. If somebody came. Yeah. And said that they gave you a book, yep. and it suits your criteria, okay, okay, and it went set well with your heart. You said, okay, yeah. then you would accept them as a prophet. Now the problem with that, let me just respond to that. The problem with that is that Islam clearly teaches, explicitly teaches that Muhammad is the last prophet, and to deny that, you're going to hell, my friend. No, no, no. And so, but you, no, no, no. but that's what you just. <laughs> Let's not make assumptions, because don't you don't you think I already know that the Prophet Muhammad was the last Prophet? I said if it sat with me, I didn't, if it sat with me, if it sat with me. But, but then do you see the problem you have. No, no, do you see the Because then you have no, no, a contradiction. No, no, do you see the because Muhammad is meant to be the last Prophet. No contradiction. Do you see the hole we just jumped into? He's the last Prophet. Sorry. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. the last Prophet. Yeah, yeah. But he said. What's the problem here? No, 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 no. no. Said, he said if another Prophet came if, along if, and if, they, their book if, were currently in a group. Yes, but I know they you would accept them as a prophet after, yes. after the Quran. After the Quran, yes. yes. So which book has come after the Quran? No, that's there you go. Yes. That's the point I'm trying to make. What we're doing? We're, we're, no, no, we're but you're saying. I'm no, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me finish what I'm saying. You don't tell me what I'm saying. Yeah. Explain to what I'm saying. So what we're doing is we're just hyper, we're, we're hypothetically yeah, yeah, speaking. Yes, yes. yes. I'm no, sorry. do you understand? Yeah, yeah. So hypothetically, if someone comes with a book that sits well with you and you're understanding your criteria, okay, is it then okay, or would you say it's reasonable? to follow them simply for the fact that their book um, you know, sits well with you. Because I know I've read many books that I think, you know, I like what, this, I like what I'm reading here, it's interesting. But I would, if someone claimed that it's a prophet, I will say, no, it's not a prophet. Because in my scripture also, it speaks about the last prophets. And that's already gone. The prophet is gone, apostleship is gone, and all we have now is um, evangelists, teachers, pastors, and we have disciples. Okay? Just like you say, Muhammad is the last prophet. So what I'm saying to you is that you're going to find yourself um, contradicting yourself, and you're going to find yourself. It's not contradiction. I'll tell you. Let me explain why. I'll tell you why. Because, because over and over again, you are stating that you received or accepted Muhammad as a prophet because of you know the fact that the Quran sat well with you. Yeah. But if someone else comes with a book, yeah, yeah, you would reject it. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a there's a missing link. There's an inconsistency. You said if 
someone came with a book and it was from oh, and they came with from God, right? I said if it sat well with me and it was from God, but the thing is, what's the criteria for it to sit with me? Your emotions. That's what I'm trying to say. But emotions. my emotions is your emotions. my emotions is exactly. my emotions so is. You're just hang following on. Your no, 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 no. You can't speak to me because you know that you're sweet. My emotions now, from what I know, is based on the Quran and what I know about Islam. So if this book is correlating what I'm saying and feeling with Islam, I accept. But I know it won't ever happen. So, so this because is, because this hang on, hammering at this point. Hang on, hang on. And why do I think it will never happen? Because Allah said that Prophet Muhammad is the last uh, Prophet and that the Quran is the final. But we are talking hypothetically. The point we are making. Let me just clear out the point we're making. The point we're trying to understand. Is this, yeah? Because again, like the atheists said and these other um, non-believers and you know, I don't know if you're atheists. I don't know what they believe. But other people, I'll just be, people just, I'm an atheist. They just listen to atheists. Yeah. So other people will question me about my faith. And you know, part of um, what we do is what we call apologetics. And what it means is simply just giving a defence and giving good reasons why we believe what we believe. We don't just believe it. We're not blind sheep. We don't yeah, just yeah, yeah, follow yeah. something blindly. And so we're just simply challenging you. We're not yeah. saying you know you're a bad yeah, human being for thinking yeah, 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 and you can't free speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's fair enough. I've got some good Muslim friends, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, but my point is this: yeah. is that if somebody, if um, I believe that yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah. you know, whatever, I believe Jesus God, or I believe in a certain faith, yeah, in a certain, in a certain part of my faith, okay, right, and my faith is simply based on the fact that it's just how I feel to buy it, it's just my emotions, it's just I just like something about it, it's connected with me. Then my faith is not set on anything. Um, the foundations isn't strong because anybody else can come, and it's happening right now. We've seen false prophets come, like Joseph, um, the Mormon. You know, um, what's his name? Joseph Smith. He came even in recently. I said, I'm the last prophet, which is which, which cut out Muhammad. And then you have all these prophets that are going around, and they say we've come with our book. So what what makes them not true and Muhammad true? I said, we just have to question these things. That's what I'm simply saying to you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying. You're a bad person. I can see that you're thinking you're not as aggressive or rude as some of the other Islamic Dawa team. We're just trying to think through things. And I'm just helping you along. I'm saying think through these things. Don't just follow blindly. And that's what I'm saying to you. But do you think do you think I'm following blindly? I, I do because the reason why is because you said that your faith is based uh, simply on emotions, how it made you feel. Well, not necessarily because I said it sat well with me. So exactly. how did it sit well with me? You open the Quran, some of the things it says in there, rah. Some of the signs that are in there, rah. Some of the stuff it's saying, rah. Like how can a book be saying this? It sits let, well with let me, me. Give example. Let me give example. Let me like give example. you're a Christian because of what the Bible says inside there. Let, let me give hang on, hang on. Am I right? The, you're a Christian because of what the Bible says inside there. More, you must be. More yeah, but that's the fundamental of it. Why? No, because without no. the Bible, okay, let me hang on. Because without the Bible, you would not be a Christian. Okay, let me correct you. Can I correct you? Because you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, you're okay, wrong. You're wrong. Okay. I'll okay. correct you. Before, before I became a Christian, yeah. I didn't know the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody came to me and told me about Christianity, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they told me, you know, I was living a lifestyle that was completely crazy. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, they told me about the Bible, of course, but they didn't go through it. Yeah. What they simply did was just, you know, tell me that, you know, that I'm a sinner. Yeah. And you know, and obviously my destiny is hell. Yeah. And you know, and if I, you know, if I didn't repent, you know, that ultimately that would be, you know, my final destination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so obviously I started to consider these things. It's only later on down the line that I started to read the scriptures, started to read the Bible, started to read. The, um, I tried to understand who is this man Jesus. You know, what kind of life he lived, what kind of um, example he left. And I started reading it, I started pondering on it, and I said, Wow, do you know what? This guy is. Um, I know I'm saying this guy because it was just like just some, yeah. some, some, um, some historical figure to me at the time. Yeah. I was like, wow, he's, he's life like, it's not just the fact that he did miracles, but the things he taught. So it's inspired the, 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 the things he taught, the so things he did. You. Yeah, absolutely. So he okay. with you. Hold on, hold on. One second, let me finish what I'm saying, okay? But this was later on down the line. I don't really believed in God. I just simply, what it simply was, was affirmation. Yeah. And what I would say to uh, most Muslims who ask the same questions, or old people, you don't, you do not necessarily need to know the Bible to be a Christian. All you need to know is that Jesus is Lord, he died and rose again for your sin, but and you that one day, the Bible. and then one day he's going to judge. How, you wouldn't know the Bible. No, yeah. How would you know I, the Bible? Right, right. What I'm saying to you is, somebody can tell me that. I don't have to read throughout the whole Bible. I understand. No, I know, but, they, but that, that information is still coming from the Bible. Right. Hold on. I understand what I'm saying to you. 
Because you're, hang on, you're born, you're born naturally, you're, you're born naturally to suck on your mom, to love your dad, to to eat, to sleep. But you're not born knowing that Jesus is God. This is something that is taught in the Bible. So without the Bible, you wouldn't have this fundamental belief you have. Even if you were told, that yeah. person, so, person has to be well, the Bible. number one, number one, I disagree with you. I, I disagree with the reason why. Um, because I believe that we are born, and even some Muslims believe that. What? Muslims believe that they are born and not Muslims. Conscious, yes. Yes. Not conscious, right. So, so hold, hold on, let me finish. But you're not born to, to be conscious that Jesus is God. One second, one second. You're born to know your creator. Can I, can I, to, can to I respond to you? Oh, can I respond to you? So, what I'm simply saying is that I can go to heaven, or I can be saved, simply by a testimony, okay, of God. Now, somebody could come up to me and tell me about Jesus Christ and be lying, yeah, yeah, yeah. hypothetically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or someone could tell me about, and they could be lying. Yeah, yeah. It might not be in the Bible. Yeah. However, I can still be saved by simply a testimony, yeah. okay? What I'm simply saying is that my faith was affirmed, okay? When I went for myself into scripture and I read of this, this life and this, the miracles and I started doing my own research and studying and looking at how history fits with it perfectly. Let me give an example. In the scripture, it teaches that in the Gospels and also in the New Testament, it teaches that Jesus Christ died, okay? He was crucified. But then when you go into other books or when you go to like the Quran, okay, not other books, let's go to the Quran, Surah 4, 157, a historical fact which all scholars, atheists, Jewish scholars, Christian scholars, agree on the fact that Jesus died. The Quran says he did not die, he was not crucified. And so immediately, from what I've read in scripture, from what all um, historians and what all, um, you know, um, New Testament theologian scholars are stating, I have to go with what, you know, um, where, where the evidence is to, is to be found. And I'm saying to you is that all the Bible wants to me, what, what the Bible is to me is, is affirmation. It's not so, and, but yeah, I can just receive, I, I, people can testify to me by Jesus Christ. And that's what I'm saying to you, brother. Listen, I'm, I'm being sincere, yeah? I'm being honest with you, yeah? I know that, as I said, you never come across the way some other Islamic Dawah yeah. you come across a certain way. What I'm simply saying is, take time to think through these things yourself, okay? If somebody came 600 years yeah. after Jesus Christ, okay? No eyewitness testimony, no one to affirm that he was a, he was a prophet. He comes in another country, Arabia, which speaks a completely different language from the, um, from, from the Jews. He comes along so and he makes, one that, second, one second. Let, me, let, me, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. He makes these claims, okay, that contradict what we know from the Gospels and from the books that were written 600 years before his life. You know, like Jesus is God and like, you know, um, and you know, um, and that he, he was dying, he was, you know, he was crucified, he was dead. Then we have to start thinking through these things and saying, is this truly from God? That's what I'm simply saying. Hang on, so what, you, you said that um, in comparison to Jesus, Muhammad had no affirmation or people confirmed. There was no eyewitness testimony. That he was a prophet. Where was the eyewitness to say, well, do you know what? What's an eyewitness, by the way? Your definition of eyewitness. No, I, 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 so somebody else saw, saw what he did. No, that's, that's not what I would say. I would say, okay, so I would say just a minute there. What I would say is, for example, let me give you an example. Um, Paul, okay, was not, um, was not, was not actually, apart from the vision on the way to Damascus, or apart from him seeing the way to Damascus, he was not amongst the apostles, the twelve, yes? But there was eyewitnesses that he spoke to, like Peter, um, like John, and so they were able to affirm him, you know what I'm saying? And so, with all, with all, um, with all scripture, you'd have people affirm one another, it would be like a train. But with Muhammad, he came by himself, in another country, speaking a different language, there was no one to affirm that this man is truly from God, and he started to say things that not only contradicted the scripture, before that, but also things that would get him killed. Like for example, he said, if a pro, oh sorry, the, the, the book of Mo, in Moses, Moses says, if somebody comes along and he prophesies, he says something that does not come true, okay, then that person should be killed, okay? And so, but then when you look into what Muhammad has put into the, into the Quran, okay, we find things that are not true. But I'm just giving you one, I can give you many more. For one, he, he said that Jesus Christ was not crucified. No, that's, 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 you, can't, you can't use that as an evidence, I'll tell you why. Be, because but we don't know he was. Or was huh? 28 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Because we don't. We'll, we'll just summarize. Say, say you make your last point. I'll make my last point. Make your, make your last point. Summarize.
summarize what you want to have to say because I have to, I have to shut off here. So, summarize what I have to say for Anything you have to say and then yeah. Is that, I just want to tell you that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger of God and that the Quran is the last testimony of God. Okay, that's yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll just going to summarize as well, yeah? Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to summarize as well, yeah. So, again, um, I speak to my Muslim friend, very, um, I'll say gentle. <laughs> you know, many Muslims are usually kind of very rowdy, loud and aggressive, but he hasn't been. So, I, you know, I, that's a, a thumbs up for that. Um, what I'll say is this, is that, to my Muslim friends, is just take time. Just, you know, just to have a look at what you're actually listening to. One thing you have to understand, Jesus spoke about, he spoke about us as sheep, and that we, we must go amongst wolves. And what wolves seek to do is to, is to, is to, um, is to delude you and is to, um, is to deceive many so that they will turn from the truth into lies and deception. And what the Bible says in Matthew 20, 24, it says that in the last days, many false prophets will come and they will deceive many people. And what I'm saying to you is like, it's just what I'm with friends, is think about it, comprehend this. If a man comes along, you know why with this testimony, a few years, he comes with a book and says, listen, this book is from God. And he says, well, you know, listen, I'm a, you know, um, I, I uniquely received revelations from Allah. Consider it. Why is it, is there no eyewitnesses? Why is there, why does most of his revelations suit his um, personal agenda? Why is it that he says, kill unbelievers, the very people that God died for, God loved, and Jesus Christ came to die for. And I encourage Muslims, when you consider these things, come to the Bible, the book of um, um, John, look at the scriptures, and you come to see that Jesus, he came, he died on the cross for your sins, he loves you, and if you give your life to him, you will receive eternal life. God bless.